So we have Alexia Ampuero, who is speaking on consequences of religious stereotypes. Her supporting faculty are Dr. Eva Jones, Dr. Andrea Levy, and Dr. Steve Ninkler, all from the Honors Program. So join me in welcoming Alexia. My name is Alexia Impuero, and um, I will be sharing with you today um, some examples from my research, which was on the consequences of religious stereotypes. And the thesis and the argument which I made for my paper was that uh, religious stereotypes promote discrimination through how we interact with and affects how we judge others. And this, uh, my argument, uh, really conducted a lot of my research and I provided examples from people of various religious backgrounds and or beliefs for uh, my argument. Um, so, the first example was through a Tobin and Weinberg study, and they sampled 1,200 college faculty uh, staff, and they found that many of the staff described evangelical Christians uh, within stereotypical terms, such as pushy, narrow-minded, intolerant, and untrustworthy. The result of these negative stereotypes promoted discrimination as revealed by the authors who reported 42 conservative Christian students documented 87 anti-Christian incidents from stereotyping to ridiculing Christian practices. In fact, many of these students also reported being insulted by their, by their teachers yet did not file complaints because they didn't think any action would take place. Another example which how, how um, negative religious stereotypes affect our interaction with one another is seen with those who identify as atheists. Atheists are people who lack any belief in God or believe in the non-existence of God. Many people hold negative stereotypes of atheists, believing them to be judgmental, cynical, and hedonistic. These negative stereotypes lead to negative feelings, such as distrust and fear. One particular survey highlighted the negative views that Americans express towards atheists. It was a 2007 Gallup poll, and it assessed people's willingness to vote for hypothetical political candidates from different racial and religious backgrounds. And the potential hypothetical political candidates ranged from Afri um, someone from an African American background, a woman, a homosexual, and an atheist. And the majority voted for an African American which came up with 94% of the majority vote the runner-up was a woman with 88% of the majority vote and a homosexual with 55% of the majority vote. The only candidate who would not receive the majority vote was the person who identified as an atheist with only 45% of the vote. Both these situations show how negative stereotypes affected these two groups of different religious beliefs and or practices. They were subjected to unfair treatment which can be seen through the hypothetical survey, which many Americans even disregarded what political candidates could do for the country, just seeing them for who, with what religion or belief they identified with. And uh, religious stereotypes also affect how we judge others based on appearances such as clothing and or jewelry. For example, back in 2001, before the government reported on the details of the 9-11 attacks, ordinary people took it on themselves to punish anyone with a turban, 
that is anyone with a headgear. They thought it resembled the turban worn by Osama bin Laden. These attacks were directed at people solely because they shared or were perceived as sharing the national background or religion of Al-Qaeda members deemed responsible for attacking the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Those turbans served to distinguish the evildoers in many people's minds. Men and women were constantly attacked following the days after 9-11. Many reported slurs and being physically attacked. As we can see, these negative stereotypes can lead to violence, they can cause harm and lead to death. While negative religious stereotypes continue to grow, there are institutions and laws placed to prevent this type of discrimination. The Civil Rights Act, for example, prohibits discrimination on the basis of religion. The United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is responsible for enforcing federal laws that make it illegal to discriminate against a job applicant or an employee because of the, pro because of the person's race, color, religion, and many more. In addition, schools have taken steps to make their environment informative by educating kids on subjects like world history or offering religious courses which religious courses which provide unbiased facts, not biased opinions. Our own campus, for example, has a non-discrimination policy which states that they do not discriminate on the basis of color, race, religious creed and many more. To fight against ne negative religious stereotypes, we must be more educated and more respectful. Our country is a land full of diversity, full of people from many religious backgrounds and many different beliefs than ours. But we must be more respectful towards them and be mindful of what we say and how we act we might offend someone if we are rash or if we let ourselves become influenced by negative religious stereotypes. inspired you to look into this? Was there a certain situation or have you been um, discriminated against for your own religion? Actually, um, I'm a Latter-day Saint, so I'm, I'm a Mormon. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of um, not good information out there regarding like polygamy or stuff like that. So um, I wasn't really discriminated against, but from seeing how there's so much um, lack of information or knowledge out there. Um, it really inspired me to look into other religions, see what other people have experienced. And just knowing that we, even though we identify with a certain religion, you know, we're all the same, we all have, we're all the same at the end. So I just, it really inspired me to do this. And, yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that the religion has one now? Um, I'm not following the political campaigns as much, but there are some candidates who are addressing, or they're not as, I don't know, like open to people of religious backgrounds as much, for example, like Muslims or like banning Muslims from the country, but I'm not, I don't want to get too much of that, so I'm not following political campaigns as much, so, or debates. Thank you.